Hey there! We made some updates to find papers, so we wanted to make this video to give you a quick overview of what those changes were and how to use the new find papers. So as a quick summary of the updates, one, you can now load more results to your ARBS content so you can explore more of the research. Two, Alyssa will now auto-generate some columns based off of your research questions so you can easily extract out the relevant details. And of course, you can add your own columns if you want to add some more. Three, you can now easily chat with any of the papers and the results. You don't need to manually pick and choose anymore. You can chat across papers and do comparisons and so on. And four, if we can find full text for papers, you can now also chat with those full texts automatically. So let me show you how to do all that. To access the new find papers on the homepage of the Elicit, you go to the rightmost find papers tab and you can enter in your research question. So I'm going to ask, what is the effect of semaglutide on cognition? The research refiner, question refiner will trigger and it will give you some suggestions on how to improve the question. But since this is a good question, uh, according to it as a base, I'm going to go with that. So this is the new find papers interface. On the left is where the papers, will, papers and results will show up. And on the right is where you can chat and see the summary. So here it's found, Alyssa has found the 10 most relevant uh, papers to my research question. And I can go ahead and look at those and it has a summary as well. And on the right, it has the summary that it's generated of all the 10 papers. And I can go ahead and ask follow-up questions. So a little bit to dive in a little bit more on the left, I can see the title, the authors, the abstract and so on. And I can also see uh, the summary, which is one of the auto-generated columns. If I wanna check where did Alyssa get the details for each of these columns, I can click on the asterisk and it'll show exactly in the paper where the detail came from. Summary is the main uh, illicit auto-generated column, but if you go to edit columns, you can see the other ones or add to your own. So illicit also suggests that, that we look at study population, semaglutide protocol, or cognitive effects. I can toggle those on and off and I'll get another column with the details there. And I can add my own as well. Now with the results, it lo loads the first 10 by default, but I can also load more. and this will be the next 10, and so on. These are the most relevant papers in order. So I can keep going uh, until I feel confident that I've really explored the research. Now I want to dive over to the summary. The summary by default answers is looking at the first 10 papers, but as I load more, I can ask it, give me a summary of the papers now. It will now have all the papers that I've loaded in here. And there we go. And it'll also link out to the papers. So if I click on one of them, I can see the paper or the abstract and come back. Now, the really cool thing with chat here is that since you don't need to select the exact papers, you can chat with you know any or all of the papers actually listed here. You can ask questions like, what are the most novel methodologies of these papers? You wouldn't know which papers have them without reading them all, but chat Elicit here can go in, look at all the papers, and give you some suggestions. And here we go. So it's looked across all the papers, figured out that some of these are uh, novel compared to the others, and listed them out. So you can go across papers like that. You can ask, you know, limitations, compare and contrast, and so on. Or you can dive really deeply into one paper. So you could do it in the same chat, or you could start a new chat thread, which will also be saved in, up in here in the history. And so for example, RTPA has a full text, we can chat with that full text. So what is the methodology and limitations from TIPA 2024? So if I mention that, it's gonna go and pull this paper and we can chat specifically about this paper. So it's thinking it's gonna go pull it and then answer the question. And here you can see the papers that it's read or the actions that it's taking to answer your question. And since we have the full text, it's going to go find the methodology, the study selection, etc., and the limitations that uh, TIPA has mentioned in their paper, paper. So that's the summary of the new find papers. If you like the papers that you have here, you can of course export them or you can now save them to your library, either by clicking here or by saving all of them to your library. So I can create a new collection, for example, on semaglutide research, add them all, and use them in another workflow and elicit directly. That's it for the new find papers. If you have any feedback, please let us know either by email or you can go up to the send feedback button here and let us know what you think. Hope you enjoy.